now. He was her schoolgirl crush. Uh, she was this morning presenter desperate to meet him. Rick Astley joined Alison Hammond on Skype a few months back uh, here on the show. So we thought it was about time she got her chance to meet him in person. <laughs> and where better than a boat trip down the river? Lovely. Well, I'm here. I'm here on time. Where, where's Alison? Hello? Hi. Hi, Alison. Uh, I'm here, love. I'm here. Where are you? Yeah, I'm here. I'm right. I'm, out, I'm outside the boat. I'm right next to it. Oh, well, she's putting the decorations up. You're early. I, I'm not early, love. I'm, I'm, I'm actually bang on time. Oh, in that case, I'm running late. Hang on a minute, Bob. I'm coming. Oh. Hold on. Oh, hi, babes. You're right. Do you like the boat? I thought it'd be appropriate to go to sea because your surname is at sea. Well, well, listen, Alison, I love the boat, it's gorgeous, but the thing is, we're, we're not at sea, we're actually on a river. Good point. And just one other thing, um, my name is Astley, not at sea. Oh, yeah, I know. Guys, get rid of it, just get rid of it. Come on, Rick, coming in. All aboard! Well, we may not be going to sea, but I've hired a boat, so I'm going to use it. After all, Rick is my childhood crush, and the opportunity to get him all by myself is one I'm never going to give up. So, Rick, what do you think about my boat? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Sturdy, isn't it? Yeah, really mm. sturdy. It's actually made in 1892. Oh, really? It's the oldest working boat on the Thames. Gorgeous. You know, it's a good spot for it as well, yeah. so yeah, lovely. And do you think my knowledge is really good as well? I thought your knowledge is amazing. <laughs> you should be on the History Channel, love. <laughs> should, should I? Yeah. Well, tell me about this new single, a Christmas single. Oh, man. I just had this inkling to kind of have a go at writing a Christmas song. I've never had one before. I'm not treating it as a big deal. It's just a bit of fun, do you know what I mean? I enjoy doing it. I have a little studio at home in my garage, so it's no skin off my nose. If I go and actually go and do something and I don't like it, I can just bin it, you know what I mean? It's not like I've booked a studio and gone crazy or anything. When I finished the tune, I really, really liked it. The girls that I work with and sing with me all the time sang on it, and they just lifted it up a gear as well. And I kind of thought, well, all right, let's just stick it out there. <laughs> you was just talking about the girls there. I was just wondering, was there an issue with, like, phoning me to be a backing singer? Well, was, at that point, at that point, I didn't yeah. have your number. I've got it now, obviously. Yeah, so. because it was just weird when I saw those girls and of I just course. thought, it, you know, yeah. I, I was the perfect that fit. That day's coming, love. That day is coming. You know, I've got the tunes. Well, listen, I'm getting a bit chilly out here. Should I'm we go free. inside? I did see a bar. Oh, really? Are you thirsty? Oh, yeah. I'm Come always on, thirsty, love. <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot So after making Rick one of my famous Christmas cocktails, which he definitely loves. Yeah. Delicious. Astonishing. It's time to settle into the Christmas wonderland that I lovingly created just for us. This is romantic, isn't it? Mm, it's very romantic. Do you think your wife will be a little bit jealous? <laughs> <clears throat> She's a very understanding woman. Is she? Yeah. Do you have New Year's resolutions at all? What I think this year has kind of brought home for me is that if there are things I want to do, just stuff that you want to do, you've always promised yourself, like a certain trip or you're going to get back in touch with someone or you're going to spend more time with someone you actually really care about, I'm going to try really hard to do that from now on. I'm having a great time, but these cocktails are pretty strong. Yes. Just keep it together, Alison. Don't go embarrassing yourself in front of Rick. Cry for help Ow! is all I need. All I need. All I need is to cry for help. Mm. Yeah, cry oh, wow. Well. Singing isn't too bad. Just don't do anything stupid like telling Rick how much you love him. When I was younger, I used to dream that I was actually your wife. And I used to tell my friends to like call me Mrs. Ashley because obviously I said your name wrong at the okay. time. Yep, that was awkward. What's next? Uncontrollable fits of giggling. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> okay. So it looks like the chance to not embarrass myself <clears throat> has been and gone. Might as well go for the whole hog and suggest a Christmas classic. Should we play some Christmas charades? I'd love to. It's one of my favourite things to do. So we're going to play charades. Yep. But they're all your songs. OK. OK, okay. You ready? All right. Three words. The first word... Cry. Got to be, yeah. Second word... Four. Third word. Can't wait for this. Cry for help! Yes! Of course. Well done. Of course. Nailed it. The first word... All... Um, everywhere... Every... Every... E every... Second word. One. 
Yeah, third word. <laughs> Do you mean the fourth word, Alison? <laughs> us. Every one of us. Oh, there you go. Okay, last one. Okay. Three words. The first word. Heart. No. Love. Love. I can't remember the song. <laughs> Love this Christmas. Yeah! There you go, there you go. Well done. So you've actually got a prize. Oh, thank it's you. just under your chair. Oh, there. really? Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Atsy. That is, <laughs> that is gorgeous. That's going somewhere in my house. <laughs> this has been the best Christmas present anyone could ever wish. Should we have one more for we the should river? should indeed. Cheers. Cheers, bye. Cheers, Alison, love, thank you. Oh, I love oh, that. Oh, that's brilliant. So love. good. Rick Single, A Love at This Christmas is out now.